It's unfortunately not common that countries choose upholding their principles over making money, but today that's actually happened, with the Netherlands choosing to ban weapons exports to Saudi Arabia. They became the first EU country to put in practice a motion by the European Parliament in February urging a block-wide Saudi arms embargo. Now, why did they do this? The bill, voted through by Dutch MPs on Tuesday, quoted UN figures which suggest almost 6,000 people, half of them civilians, have been killed since Saudi-led troops entered the conflict in Yemen, which continues to this day. And they also cited the mass execution of 47 people, largely political dissidents, ordered by the Saudi judi judiciary on January 2nd of this year. Now, uh, this is a good move by the Netherlands because, of course, any weapons that they sold to Saudi Arabia had a very high chance of eventually being deployed against civilians or having a, a massive number of civilians caught in the crossfire at the very least. But it could also have wider implications. According to The Independent, it adds to the growing pressure on Britain to join the weapons ban uh, since it is one of the principal arms suppliers to Riyadh. And in the case of Britain and some other countries, which I'll get to, we're talking about big money here. According to updated campaign against arms trade figures, the UK has now sold more than 6.17 billion pounds worth of weapons to the Saudi government under just David Cameron, 2.8 billion pounds in deals since the bombing in Yemen began. So that's big money, big, big money to arm Saudi Arabia. And of course, we've got to keep it real. We do it here in the US as well to the tune of many, many billions of dollars, depending on who you ask. Uh, just in the past year, there have been somewhere between one and six billion dollars considered in deals with Saudi Arabia. And over the past decade or more, it could be over 50 billion dollars. Now, of course, it's going to take more than just a few European countries joining this weapons export ban to get us to reconsider whether we should do it here in the U.S. But at the very least, some people here and around the world might start to consider whether we have some minimal moral obligation to not profit off the widespread murder of civilians. Just something to think about. And that's my final judgment.